Hey everyone, I'm Xonani. Welcome to my new video. Today it's a Timu art haul. I know there are a lot of Timu art hauls right now on YouTube, but I couldn't resist and ordered a few things too to test the quality of Timu products and to get a few nice things there. We start with my first package here and I know what it is and I thought it's a bit smaller. <laughs> oh, this is a palette, a ceramic palette. Oh, nice. And it's good packed, big mixing areas, but I thought it's a bit smaller like this. And I'm very impressed. It's a very good quality from Meaden, and I think this was perhaps eight euros I paid for it. All my palettes are always full of paint and I still want to use them or I don't want to waste them. So here we have a lot of possibilities to mix colors and to use them afterwards. So I really like this palette. What we also, oh, I already forgot, I ordered these um, fountain pens. I wanted to draw a bit with fountain pens and my old ones are sucked in the Nimbus. <laughs> I don't know where they are. You have the possibility to choose out of a few color schemes and I wanted the green one, of course. Did I tell you that green is my favorite color? And I never use it in my, in my paintings, almost never use it. Okay, they feel very light. I'm very curious how they work. We will test them out later. Yeah, they look like Lamy size and it looks like a Lamy fountain pen. I had in my school Back in the days, I think it's blue. Oh God. Ah, okay. So later I will test this out. Look what I also bought. These super, super cute and nice sketchbooks with watercolor paper in it. I thought I could um, give one to a friend. I, I ordered a lot of gifts <laughs> for art friends. And let's see, there's cloth all over. A very beautiful, nice cloth. It reminds me on here, William Morris and I love William Morris. If you don't know William Morris, Google it. The paper feels very good. And here's watercolor paper and the first page, which is glued on the cover, is also watercolor paper. You can paint on it as well. Cold pressed, you see. Okay, it lays flat. This is really nice. And it has this this thingy here to put your pencil or your marker in it. And I like this, that it's closed, that it's really closed. I like it really, really much. Oh, I have to test it. With you together. Oh, look at this. There's also a little pocket here. This is really nice. I was skeptical when I ordered from Timu. I thought um, it will be, this will be very cheap things, but this is so beautiful. Look at this, it's so beautiful. They are various sizes. You can get them also in this landscape format. Yeah, I'm impressed about this quality. Really nice. 
I ordered these watercolors. This is, I don't know if it's a home brand of Timu. I couldn't resist because the colors look so beautiful and um, muted, like muted, a little bit dirty colors. I love it. And the, the brand is DDD Braids. The Ocean Set, Ocean Colors, 12 Colors, Glittery Watercolors. And I'm really curious. And I think we will swatch them right now in my new sketchbook so we can test it. Ha! I will keep this. I love William Morris. I prepared a bit of water, of course. Make a drop on every color. It's a great, I don't know if there are the names of the colors, no color names. Wow, look at these colors, these two. I'm a bit reminded on the Durbans graphite tints. We will compare my swatch cards. I don't see any glitter, I have to say. Yeah, there's no glittering effect. Here it says glitter, glittery watercolor. I think this glittery, it's a bit, tiny bit, but you can see it right now. Perhaps we have to let it dry. These are my Durban, the Durban swatch card. And yeah, they are also very muted and have this shimmery effect from the graphite. And I think it's the same here. But look at this, they seem to granulate a bit. I try something out. And I have to say, this paper is really good. I like it. I like these sketchbooks. Oh, nice. It flows. This nice blue. But I miss a brighter, a brighter color, brighter yellow, perhaps. So let's dry them and come to it later. A little. A lot of small packages. Oh, I bought another one. I can't remember. Okay, we swatch it when this is dry. Okay, and let's see what's in here. And I know a lot of packaging here, but I think if they don't use a, a thick cardboard box, they have to package. Um, like this. Oh, these are so cute. You can never have enough palettes. This is why I bought these. They were very cheap. And you have 12 colors in it for a tiny traveling palette. It's so cute. Look at this. I can link you all the stuff I bought in the description, of course. Isn't it cute? I'm so happy. And it's really nice quality. It's very thick plastic. There's also one I wanted to keep and one I wanted to give away, but I don't know which one I will keep. They're both so cute. I ordered another palette, palettes, different palettes, which I always wanted to have. And I saw them there at Timus. At Timus. Oh. <gasps> How it can. Ah, look at this. Okay, it's not very strong, the magnets. And not so strong but I think it's enough to hold it if you have a clip on your sketchbook and for this one they have these tiny tiny 
Okay, it's a little, little bit too small. I think I have to. Okay. <laughs> we will do this. And you can take this and make it like this. Where I have a clip and take a clip. And so you can paint. It's very cool. I really love it. And a few more because presents, you know, and I wanted to have two and I couldn't decide and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to have, which one I want to have. So here we have this. Yeah, the magnets are a lot better. And we have these round possibilities to put our paint in. So cute. Here are 15, 15 possibilities for colors. And here are 16, 16. But what I, look at this. I have to glue it in again. Okay, but that's okay. For this price, they're really cheap. I don't know what I have paid and so, so um, cute, so cute. <laughs> and I bought another one in another size. With the round possibilities to mix. Also these round holes for the paint. 12 paints you can Put in here. I think I really like it with the three possibilities but this one is also really cool. We will fill one of this later because I know what's in there so we I don't know Pat, which fits best. I thought I bought a fourth one but I can't see it. I bought really cute erasers for my daughter. For my daughter and my son. One for my daughter, one for my son and one for me. Let's unpack them. Oh, look at these cuties. They have to choose and then I take the third one. Oh, there are also little faces. And what I also got. Also for my kids and for me because I remembered I had these as a kid too. Can you remember these? As I was a kid, how does this work? We had them and I don't remember how it works. We will find this out. We will find this out. Okay, let's see. Okay, I thought it is like crayons, but it's more like colored pencil. And how can you change? Uh, how does this work? Let's see what we have here. Oh, it comes up. You have to make it like this like this and you have to put it out here and oh, so there's the next color I understand this okay oh yes I wanted to try out their watercolor brushes from Su Ting paint brushes we will test them out later of course I will test out everything I got from Timo today. Okay. They look quite nice. Good out. Oh! Let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness! Look at this tiny, tiny palette. 
This is very cool and the magnets are not as bad. <gasps> With these tiny possibilities for the color. Oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. So cute. Oh. I don't know how much you can paint with the amount of these colors, of these paints inside. We will test this out. Of course, you have the possibility to put in four, no, eight, eight colors. Oh, this is so amazingly cute. I ordered Bao Hong paper. I heard from it that it's really good and it's 100% cotton, pure cotton paper. And I ordered the satin grain, the smoother one, I hope, because I recently I like the smoother paper more. Okay, so first. We have to remove this. Oh, this is so nice. It's almost like hot pressed, but it has this very, very fine structure. I love it. Okay, we have to test this out right now with some colors. I think with these ones. Great. I bought these because um, they are golden ones. Six colors, starry color, glittery, golden color. And we will try uh, a brush. I will try this brush. Okay. Here's a little bit less inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a hair. A hair, but I don't care. So. see it. I'm happy. What I also bought, I had to, I had to try out, are these. And these are watercolor brush pens. I love watercolor markers and I wanted to test out this a Temu brand and I think this is another video but I want to show you how they look like we have 20 colors and a portable water color brush these ones with you have to push this looks very nice let's see Ooh. It's like the tip is like a brush. It's not foam or like this. These are hairs. Look like this. Do you do you see this? It's a real brush on the tip. This is special. I think I have to use different paper for it. Oh, it's hard to activate them. Okay, so I try it out on the cellulose paper. Oh, it's better. A bit better. 
better, but not, not a lot. Another color. Which colors could we test? This red and this yellow. Let's try to blend them a bit. Okay. Oh, it's hard to blend them. Oh no, you have to be a bit more patient and this I wanted to try yeah they are okay I have to see what I can do with them and I will make a video so you can see how they work in my sketchbook or something like that. I also ordered in the silky and the very smooth surface form the Academy watercolor paper pad. This is also 100% cotton. I also I wanted to test both the artist's quality and the academy quality so i won't open this now and there's one thing left i'm really really happy about it and these are the paul rubens neon watercolors they cost less than normal so i couldn't resist and had to buy it 14 colors so much of these okay here 14 colors inside and you okay boom <laughs> and we have here 16 colors but I think I will fill them in here. Oh, look how cute it looks in this in this palette. very small tubes I think I don't know five milliliters oh here ha I didn't see this five milliliter tubes and here you can see all the different colors from Paul Rubens I never had Paul Rubens watercolors yet never tried them out okay here you have a swatch card oh bright yellow oh yes wow i don't know if you can see this on this cam but this is the real neon yellow I'm not sure how they can sell all the stuff in this affordable way 
perhaps they pay their employees nothing I don't know it makes a bit of a bad feeling that I'm sitting here with all this stuff and it was bad for somebody else I don't know I have to I have to say this I have to make a video with them where I also mix them together to new colors test out how it works and use them in a painting but I think I can't use only them for a painting because they are really oh perhaps I can let's try this they are really really beautiful I have to say and I'm really happy about them we will come back now to this one and these colors they dry very matte and I can't see any shimmer I have to say these are not glittering colors if you want to buy them they and you 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 think they are glittering they are not <laughs> But that's okay for me. I like the colors. Okay, we will try to lift this color. How? Can you lift it from the paper? Perhaps, yeah, you can lift it from the paper. You see this? It's easy to lift. Okay, that's cool. But they also reactivate if you use them. This palette is awesome. We also didn't test out this one. Oh, my desk is so full. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. It works so good. We can make exact lines, but it's a very thin, very thin um, nip here. Tip here. Tip, nip. I'm impressed that it works so good. I think um, all of these cost cost me, I think, two euros, two euros and ten cent. I will link you everything, like I said before, in my description. Rubens neon colors I will use them very often 
and I love these really cool sketchbooks very high quality paper and I enjoyed painting on it these very cute palettes are awesome the only thing is this set of colors is very dark all of these colors are very dark you don't have a light one you have to know this when you work with it I started too dark here so it's good to have a white gouache with it and it is not glittering perhaps a little bit like graphite like the derwent graphite tint but not but not really so you have to know this it's not a glittering color and this palette is very good this paper is good and these are very cute also for gifts as a present these ones I will test out a bit more in another video. And these gold colors, these golden ones are really cool from this brand. These are really glittering, <laughs> like you can see here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my little art haul and perhaps you find something you also want to have. Then I put the links down in my description for you everything i bought so we are at the end of this video have an awesome day you all out there and see you next week yours